Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. A little while back we showed you guys the new Colt uh, King Cobra that we've got. And at the time I wasn't sure what grips would fit on it. I have found out that the exact same grips that work on a regular Cobra will work on the King Cobra. The grip components are the same. And this whole grip is actually a really nice grip, soft rubber and everything else, but it's utilitarian looking. And it would be kind of nice to have something a little nicer looking if we want to have it you know, look pretty. And this is really a good grip if you're going to sit at the range and dump a lot of rounds downrange. So we bought these VZ grips. These are the Colt logo, Colt logo Series 320. And they've got the, these are specific for the Cobra. And you can see the Colt logo on them on both sides. And they, the pattern, it's a really nice pattern. They call them smooth, but they're not slippery. There is a little bit of a texture to them, so you're going to be able to hold on to them. This is the black-blue version, but they also come in black and black-gray. And the hardware, you can get either stainless like this one, or you can get black hardware. The stainless kind of looked nice, it stood out, and it kind of looks nice with the gun, but if you wanted it to blend in more, you could. The only thing that's a little disappointing on them is they don't come with instructions, but of course I'm going to take care of that for you. And they use a Torx T15 bit, which they don't come with. And not everybody has a whole bunch of Torx in their toolbox, so that might be a problem for some people. So if you do decide to get these, you know, plan on getting your hands on a Torx T15, either borrow one or buy one, but you're going to need it to do the work. To get the old grip off, and this, by the way, is the one that I'm going to use, you also have, you'll need a regular screwdriver of some sort, and you can get really fancy gunsmith screwdrivers, but this is just a simple screw, so this will get the job done, and you're going to need some blue thread locker. This is blue Loctite. Don't get the red kind. You want to use blue, which of course it's, they call it blue, but it comes in a red container. But this is a removable Loctite. And there's others on the market. The Loctite just happens to work well. And then you're going to want to be on a surface like this one. You know, this is our gunsmithing mat, which is why it's all scratched up, because we've done a bunch of gunsmithing on it. But something that you don't mind dragging tools across. So the next step is to make sure that uh, the snake's got no fangs. We don't want to be bitten by this thing throughout the process. And then the rest of it's actually fairly easy to do. So let's set aside the things we're not going to use right away and get the old grip off. Now there's a screw at the bottom, as I mentioned, and we're going to unscrew that screw. But it's kind of vague. Once I unscrew it, it doesn't really give me an indication of whether or not it's completely disconnected. So I'll need to pull the grip back and down a little bit, and it came right off. So I had pulled the screw all the way out. But it basically just slides right off, and the screw will stay in the grip. Now I can set that aside. Now in the event you had uns hadn't unscrewed it enough and it stopped, then just leave it stopped at that point and give it a few more turns, and you know it'll, it'll eventually pop loose and free. It's not a very long screw. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the saddle off. And that's actually relatively easy. You just get a finger under it or a screwdriver, pop one side off, and then flip it over and do the same thing. Now sometimes on the second piece, if you don't have uh, longer fingernails, you may need to pop the screwdriver under it to pop it loose. There's the saddle and this pin. We're not going to reuse these for this installation, so I usually put the pin inside the saddle because it's easy to lose the pin. I'll put the pin inside the saddle and lock it in place so now the pin doesn't roll away and end up under the table. Now I can set that aside, and at this point we're ready to install the new grips. Now you notice there's two holes. This one had the saddle through it, and this one was unused. In the new installation, we are going to use those two holes because there's two pins. So let's get those pins out where you can see them. The larger, fatter pin is actually going to go in this bottom corner hole because the center hole is actually going to be used for the screw. And this pin is going to be an alignment pin in the grips. So you could do it either way. I'm going to flip it this way, and I'm going to take the grips apart. Just loosen the screw up until it comes all the way out. And what I tend to do is separate it with my fingers until it comes all the way loose. The screw will stay in this grip. And we're going to take this grip and install it on the revolver. So just drop it in place. You'll notice there's a hole here. And by the way, when you look at the grip, the grips will have multiple different holes. Those are to fit different patterns. 
But I'm going to get this one lined up first, this fat one. Now what you may also find it may be easier to do is to take the grip off, put the pin in the hole, and put this pin in. Those are the two holes you're going to use. And then set the grip on the gun, lining it up. So now one grip half is in place. Now I'd mentioned that Loctite. You're going to want a napkin for this or something because it's, it's a little bit messy. But I want to take and pull this screw out and I want to put just a drop of Loctite and I want to kind of get it in the middle of the threads because I don't want to show the blue show over the end. But what you'll tend to find with this stuff is it's really, really runny and it wants to come out fast. So just put a drop like that. And that's really all you need. Sometimes you take a finger and just kind of spread it a little bit. But this is going to prevent us from having to super tighten this. We don't want to over tighten these grips and crack it, but we also don't want this screw backing out while we're in the process of shooting it. So I'm going to get the Loctite put away. And I'm going to leave that setting on the napkin. Bring the gun back. And I'm going to snap the other grip half in place. And what I want to do is I want to line it up over those pins. And you may have to wiggle it a little bit and turn it around a couple times, but it'll snap in place and you notice that the gap closed up. Now it's not going to go absolutely positively, you know, zero gap, completely closed up, but you don't want it cockeyed where you can tell that it's obvious that it didn't snap in place. Drop the screw through the grips. Now one thing you want to do is, when the, at least in the beginning, hold the grips when you start to tighten it because you don't want to push the grip off with the screw. And you'll notice I'm not, I don't have a handle on this thing. I don't need all that much torque. In fact, it helps limit the torque. If I have a handle on it, you know, I might actually apply too much torque. But I've tightened it down to the point where it's nice and tight with a reasonable amount of torque. You can see that it shows through on the other side, and I did a good job with the Loctite. There's no Loctite showing on the outside. That Loctite will set up. The screw will be unlikely to back out. And now I've got a comfortable grip. It kind of has a nice shape. It's got a nice swell to it. It fits your hand nicely. It's smooth enough to be comfortable. It's not abrasive. It's not something that's going to tear up your hand. But it's got enough texture. The gun's not going to get away from you. It's not like it's you know smooth, polished plastic. So... There's your new grip on the new gun with the blue. I'll show you the other side. It, the, the Torx does look nice. I will admit it's a nice looking screw. It's just that, you know, without the tool if you don't have one. And right there, it's just a nice looking gun. Comfortable to hold. Pretty to look at. And relatively inexpensive. This came in at $79 plus uh, shipping. Now it happens, they happen to be based in Florida, so I had to pay Florida tax as well. But it's not overly expensive grip, and they shipped it, got, you know, ordered it, and had it in two or three days. Of course, that'll vary depending on where you're at. But it really kind of makes that Cobra look a whole lot nicer. So if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that little bell if you do. Check us out on Facebook and Patreon, and have a great day. Thank you.